Hello daddies, mommies, little kids. Welcome to our Father's Day DIY craft session. And this is what you're going to make for your daddy for tomorrow's Father's Day. This is the ribbon award that you're going to award your daddy for being the best daddy in the world, okay? So get ready your materials, right? You need two pieces of the same color paper and a contrasting one for you to write the message in the middle, okay? And you need marker to write, you need ruler, you need white glue, and you need a pair of scissors. Parents, please, oh, because the teacher Linda only have these scissors. Parents, please try to use kids-friendly scissors, okay? Alright, let's start without much further ado. Okay, and first, teacher Linda needs you to fold this color paper into half. Okay, point to point, edge to edge. Press it hard. Okay, you can choose to cut along the folding line or you can choose to tear it apart without the scissors, okay? Just using the ruler. So if you want to tear it apart, you can exert some pressure here. We have these two strips. Yes, okay, we'll use one strip first, okay? For this one. Are you guys with me? Are you guys with me? Okay. For this one, we're going to fold into another half. Remember, point to point, edge to edge. Fold. We're done before another half, okay? You keep folding the half into another half until you're left with a very sleek stick like this. Ta-da! Are you with me? Okay, take your time, okay? Teacher Linda is doing some finger therapy by pressing on the piece of paper. This is the way I press the card. Okay. Press it, press it. The purpose of pressing is to have the crease line more prominently so that when you fold, the guideline is very clear to you. Okay, see? You can see all the zigzag. Okay. We're waiting for you. Okay, you should have two pieces of the same. This is to create the body of this ribbon. And for you to paste later your message for your daddy at the center. Okay, let's start folding according to the lines here, okay? Very simple. First, you press the first panel down and you flip in order to press down again. Okay? So in other words, you press down the panel, you flip and you press again. Flip, press, flip, press. Okay? Until you reach the end of the paper, you flip. See all this line? They're very distinctive. Flip. If the lines are not that sharp, you can actually press harder, okay? Press and flip, press and flip. See? Until I reach the end, you will, you will get this zigzag or accordion kind of Effect. Ta da! It's quite springy. We're going to fold this into half. 
to half. How? You press in the middle and you fold these two together, okay? Fold it together. And press. Press and press and press and press and press. You do not have much strength, your daddy or your mommy can come to your help, to your rescue. Okay, you must have this effect, this fan, open fan effect. Once you achieve it, get your white glue. And you seal these two, okay? You stick them together. But before you do that, daddy, mommy, you can help the kid to actually glue the center of each section. So you glue, you press, you glue here, and you press, okay? This is so that, this is done so that uh, the fan will be intact and it will not give way when you open it up. Press. Okay, when you're done, you press it hard. To let it dry. And then you fold it again. This time round, you see you have two mini fan here, okay? Is this part glue? Oh, I have to glue this part. Press! Okay, now that you're done with the middle, we'll have to close this fan up so that it can form a circle, okay? We need the other section and we will form the circle. Now we open it up, it can be a fan first, okay? You see the fan? Okay, we have one mini fan done. Now we can proceed to do the second one. Form a circle, okay? Just like this. The circle body of the ribbon. Okay, how do we do that? Simple. You see the side of the fan? You're just gonna apply the white glue. A thin layer will do in case it ooze out. Okay, you just stick them together. Stick them together. Okay. Okay, you see the circle? Okay, we're gonna press a little bit harder. Can you use whichever and you can use anything circular with a circular base to trace out the shape of a circle. This is where you're going to write your dedicated message for your daddy, okay? Okay, 